Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install potato shaders for Minecraft Java in 2025. So, let's get started. The first thing you do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you're interested, but simply go to your search bar and type in modern, like so. Once you do this, you should see modern.com, simply click on modern, and you should be on the modern homepage. Now, Simply go to the top of the website to discover content and go down to shaders. Once you do this, simply go into search shaders and type in potato. Like so. And you should see potato shaders. And if you don't see it, just add shades on top of this and you should see potato shaders. Simply click on the name and this will be new to the homepage for potato shaders on modern. Now, simply click on versions and download the latest one as it has a bunch of versions already selected for you. So, once you have clicked the green download button, you can go to a new tab and go and type in iris shaders. So simply do iris shaders like so. And you should see a website called irisshaders.dev. Simply click on iris shaders and here you'll be on the homepage for iris shaders. Now, simply go to download now and click download universal jar. Once you click this button, you should see a .jar file here. And if you cannot run .jar file, simply go to a new tab and type in JDK23. Once you do this, you should see a website like this called Java Downloads. I will have this linked in the description as well. Click Accept All. And once you do this, simply scroll down. You should see JDK23 selected. Select Windows if you're using Windows. And download the middle one if you can, as it's the simplest option. Okay, so. Once you have sorted this out, simply go to the X icon just to close your web browser and go to your file explorer here to access your downloads folder. Once you see your iOS installer and your potato shaders, simply double click the iOS installer and you should see this pop up here. Now, you will only see this if you have Java installed, so the Java for Windows thing I showed you earlier. But if you do, just select your game version. I'm just going to click nothing, I'm just going to keep the latest one. You can select if you want iOS only or iOS with Fabric if you want some mods, and you can click install. Once you have installed iOS, you can close the iOS installer and open up the Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, we will be able to see if we have currently installed iOS, and we will be able to add potato shaders to the installation step here. So, here we can see that we have iOS and sodium here, so we are all good. And what we can do, we can go to installations here, we can hover over iris and sodium, then we can go to the folder icon here. And once we're here, we can select shader packs, we can double click shader packs, and we can go to our downloads folder, we can select and copy potato shaders, and we can go back to the previous folder using the stop left arrow to click paste. And here we have pasted potato shaders in the dot micro shader packs folder. You want to see something that looks like this. And once you have this, simply go to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure that iOS and Sodium is selected. If it is, click play. And now it is just going to download all the required files and folders for iOS to run with Sodium, and then we will be able to activate potato shaders. So here we should have Minecraft, like so. And what you want to do with Minecraft here is simply go to a single player world, a server, or a realm, and just go to these worlds just so you can have a visual approach to what you're doing. So here we can see that we have no shaders and that's not because it's for potato shaders, it is just because we don't have shaders currently installed or at least activated. And to activate shaders, what you want to do is click escape, options, video settings, and shader packs here. Here you should see potato shaders, so simply click it it will darken and click apply. And what will happen here? Well, we will have potato shaders. There you go. So we have a bit of fog, we have a sun, and we have simple shadows as well. So yeah, that's how we get potato shaders to work. And also, like with other shader packs, what you can do is simply go to escape shader. Just go to this page again, basically. And instead of clicking the shader pack, you can go in shader pack settings and change different settings of the shader packs as well. So here we have some things that we can change to make the shader customized. So we can have like send path angle, we can do zero zero, it will just align sun. 
There you go, sun is aligned. And yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with that. So yeah, potato shaders, a very simple shader pack. The water looks different. And yeah, it's just a different shader pack. Really simple, really minimalistic, but it does add to the game. So in today's video, I showed you how to download and install potato shaders for your Minecraft Java installation. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!